Hi everyone, welcome to Beyond Space, even at the Tundra. Today's episode is um, about uh, the latest space flights of uh, Jeff Bezos and uh, Richard Branson uh, from uh, rather an economic point of view. Uh, that's why our next guest is uh, uh, Professor and Director of International Programs of uh, the College of Business at the University of Nevada. So without uh, any further ado, please welcome Mehmet Tosun. Hi Mehmet. Thank you for your participation. Uh, hi Tomasz. Hi, hi, great. That, uh, great to have you here on our on our event. Okay, uh, the first question, and I want to ask you uh, about your opinion in, um, in, of, on this. Uh, uh, the latest uh, space flight of uh, Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson. So, what uh, do they really mean for uh, the whole space industry, uh, space economy in general? Yeah, I think the um, like the, the month of July, you know, this year uh, will definitely go in history as a very important month uh, for space travel, right? Uh, you know, what we call now space tourism, um, you know, was basically a foreign topic. Um, you know, like nobody was really talking about uh, like you know taking uh, you know people like, to space yeah. outside of, of course, like you know the the military and and, and some other. Uh, individuals in the past, like, um, you know, with the, um, uh, uh, you know, with it, the, it just uh, went, went to the mainstream, flight. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, I think that's the, that's the most important thing that they, uh, the, the, you know, first of all, like we started talking about uh, something called uh, space tourism. Uh, and actually, um, uh, I wrote a blog about this and, uh, and you will see in that, uh, that the, the first space tourist is not, um, Richard Branson or, or um, uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, it is uh, someone else that did this uh, back in 2001. So, um, and, and paid more than $20 million like, you know, for the trip. And it was like with the Russian uh, Soyuz, I believe. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On, on the Station Soyuz, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we can look at this as a 21st century thing, uh, but yeah. it is still a new concept. But uh, this year, like what we are seeing with these billionaires, like going to space is, is definitely going to be a, a, a special sort of like moment in history in terms of uh, space travel. So they, 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 they don't just uh, um, they want to uh, buy a ticket to space for a ride, uh, let's say it that way. Uh, they just, uh, they've developed their own space vehicles, launch vehicles, uh, their own companies. They doing uh, from from the beginning, right? Something uh, they have and competing with, with their companies. Right, exactly. So, um, uh, of course, the, the special thing about the billionaires is that, well, they have the money. So they can yeah. actually invest their own money in um, like developing these, uh, you know, space planes or like space shuttles. Or uh, I, I heard the term uh, recently, the space utility vehicle, right? So like there is also that term that is being used. Uh, the one that is developed by Sierra Nevada Corporation, Dream Chaser, yeah. is uh, referred to as a space utility vehicle because a lot of these, um, you know, vehicles will also, you know, carry a very important cargo to space. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, funding is the key thing. I mean, the reason why the governments have been, uh, like, you know, involved in this from the start is that, well, it is too much of an investment for any given individual to uh, develop something that will take them to space. Uh, but now, of course, like also with the money making, with the, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the billionaire definition, uh, we're talking about people that can really spare little extra money uh, to do this kind of thing. I mean, it is almost like uh, sounds like a little hobby for them, <clears throat> but I, I think it is actually more than a hobby. So uh, at least like I know Jeff Bezos, uh, you know, his goal is not just space tourism, but uh, do things kind of similar to Elon Musk, like with uh, right. SpaceX or the Sierra Nevada Corporation. So they, I, I think he has um, more things in mind than just like, you know, being a space tourist. Yeah, yeah, like like Elon Musk is the living astronauts uh, to the space station, right? And uh, working with NASA, yeah, yeah, that, that's a, a rather um, long-term goal, something something like that. And uh, okay, another question: um, We're now seeing billionaires going to space, uh, their own companies. Uh, uh, when can you think uh, we can see uh, space tourism, space flights affordable to everyone, like our, our regular uh, airlines right now? Yeah, or in the flights. 
yeah, I mean, uh, if you think about it, okay, so if I wanted to fly, uh, I'm, I'm uh, from the United States, I, I live in the US, so let's yeah. say that I'm going to travel between uh, Turkey and, uh, uh, and the US, well, you know, I'm going to pay something around like maybe 1500 bucks, right? So right. Um, can the space travel, like a ticket to um, uh, space, uh, you know, cost that much? I don't know, not any time soon, right? So um, what, uh, you know, um, uh, these uh, companies are talking about uh, is uh, so maybe bring it down to something like $250,000. Like you probably heard that number being mentioned. Um, and uh, there are people that are waiting in line to basically, you know, pay that. I mean, there are a lot of millionaires that can actually afford. But yeah. let's basically talk about the average person. Right, so like an average person can probably travel, you know, between Europe and US, for instance, right? Uh, sure. But not yet, uh, of course. Like uh, uh, to um, uh, pay something like two hundred fifty thousand dollars to, you know, go to space. So the the price has to come down uh, tremendously, like for that to happen. So we're gonna have to wait. I don't want to give uh, like you know timelines, but I, I I'm just gonna call it maybe decades uh, until we actually see. The, the, the price of um, a, a ticket to space, you know, like really as low as something less than, let's say, $10,000. Right. So maybe uh, this is like a space, new space race uh, will uh, speed up this, uh, this thing. Like more companies are, are uh, being uh, established to, to uh, offer their prices. So maybe they're competing and it's always uh, great for the market. Uh, the, the prices will, will uh, hopefully <laughs> uh, uh, get lower. Uh, in, in in the near future let's uh, let, let's help let's help uh, that will that will uh, be the case okay so mehmet thank you so much for your comments on the recent developments in the uh, space, commercial space space flight in the space industry um, uh, once again thank you it was a pleasure to host you on our on our event thank you so much mehmet it was, bye it was a pleasure so much uh, nice to meet you and and um, you know good luck with your work Thank you, thank you, and good luck, uh, good luck with your with your work also. Okay, th thank you so much. Uh, bye, bye. Bye, bye. Thanks.